Every, every part of the inside in one way or another has been affected. It might be time for a new car for this Longwood family after an unexpected visitor broke in and wreaked havoc. Oh, Yep, that's a bear inside Ricky Koberg's father's SUV. She says around 9.45 Saturday night, her family heard banging outside their garage, where her father's car had been parked, unlocked. And I just started hitting the car alarm because I wanted to scare them away. And then he looked out the bathroom window, which is over by the AC condenser, and we realized that one of them was actually trapped inside my father's car. Kobrick says the bear opened the door himself and then got trapped when the door swung shut behind him. She immediately called the neighborhood guard gate, 911, and Florida Fish and Wildlife officers. Kobrick says the bear was inside for 30 to 40 minutes as they waited for him to find a way out. He's not figuring it out yet. Should I call it? I actually started saying, here bear, here bear, throughout the window. Here bear. Here bear. A few seconds later. Here it comes. Here it comes. Here it comes. Thankfully, no one was hurt, but it's a story Coburg won't soon forget, especially considering what the bear left behind. He was trying to get out every way possible, so he was clawing at the seating liner here, ripped this all down, which then he ate the headrest, or part of it. Coburg says bears in the neighborhood aren't unusual, but in her car, that's a new one. I guess the moral of the story is when you live amongst bears, you also have to lock your car doors.